us have a little play. Let's see what we've got uh, in the ranks. Can I, um, uh, Sam, can I borrow you? So let's just, we'll just pick a, um, we'll pick an attack. Let's, let's have this. So at some point, everyone's experienced this. Or whatever you want to call it, underpelt there. And I think, just like Dennis mentioned this earlier, um, someone grabs you like this. Most of the time, it's going to be a demonstration of, of uh, you know, it's an intimidation grab, shall we say. Um, if he was, you know, much shorter than me and lighter, it's, it's unlikely he's going to. This is, you know, the bicep gets engaged and there's this, and I'm going to throw, you know, and I'm waiting for that or that, or I'm unlucky than me. My reaction from my path as mainly an Aikido guy would be to deal with this, but be aware of that. So I think my first thing from this would be, I would use that body movement first of all. If I was purely just trying to not engage and start fight. So I'm assuming this, but this, this kind of body movement in, I'm turning out the way of the thing, and if it knocks the arm out, I'm gonna get that kind of catapult thing if it doesn't knock the arm out that I've got underneath, I'm going to get that. That was lucky. That was really good. I didn't plan that. You know? we'll, we've got gears. These are, you know, it's a solid thing, so we've got a big grip. This is New Zealand. Most of the time people have got T-shirts on or light shirts. If I make this movement, there's a good chance that the garment is going to tear. tear. means I'm off the line and I've lost the threat of this. And it's just body movement. That suits my mentality, you know. I'm an old bloke with dodgy shoulders. I don't want to get in that fight. However, slightly more technical thing. Just because I want it out of the way. And then from there, there's a hundred million things. But uh, now, if it was more of a push, if it was kind of one, I think I'd be, that would be my solution. Which is kind of still Nikio esque if you want to put it in an Aikido frame. But again, I'm just trying, you know, I don't want Sam to punch me in the head. Uh, just from a pure, my, you know, my, from my journey, from my Aikido journey, I want to get out of the way and I want to get from a position of disadvantage to a position of advantage as quickly as I can. You know, whatever it is. Just balance, take, and out of the way. Have a little play. So, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu has what, well, at least my, my reaction to it within Jiu Jitsu, a couple of options. So, if he's just grabbing you there, I can either look to grab two on one grip. Most of my most of the course is actually coming through with my forefinger and thumb on each hand. Come back, strip the grip. Now I've got options. Either I can arm drag, re naked choke, and um, use him as a human shield against his mates. Well, to kill him. Or alternatively, in here, he's keep yanking him forward, drop it right, single, single leg takedown, and from here, well, break his legs, beat the crap out of him. Lots and lots of options. I mean, I think if it was just give me the one. <laughs> just on general principle. If I'm looking to engage from there, what I might do is firstly keep my guard up just in case and also to be able to elbow in the face. Bring this arm up, around, take him down, arm bar, kimura, lots of different options from there that I could go to, but that's probably going a little bit too far. So again, two on one, step back, come through, three naked choke, strip the grip, yank him down, drop, shin right, Put my shin right in my his, my shoulder, pardon me, right on his shin. And from there, I'm going to keep the leg lifted. Through there, we'll be going through how to do that properly a bit later this weekend. Or, from, or alternatively, from there, drag him down, his back, drop him on his head. I'm not going to do that. The suple suplexes, a lot of different options, but generally, most of the disengaging options are all based off two on one. Grab, grab the butt, the tricep, right there, come through. And from here, the world is your oyster. So 
So from the same pack, I'm still going to look at the same thing. We go that way. Okay, so then roll over. So it's just a simple matter of going from here, bracing under the elbow, pushing it up. That takes his body up into the air, rotating it over, okay, and then dropping down, pushing down to the ground. I haven't even taken him off. I don't need to. Right here, I've got enough pressure on that elbow that he will let go eventually. <laughs> So somebody who's really strong, and as soon as you grab, I can feel just how strong he is. So I know I'm not going to be really trying to peel the fingers off. I could probably sit here for a while getting off, but I'm probably going to get punched two or three times by the time that happens. I would look at straight away taking this whole front of him away, and saying it's done. Okay. Then rotate over. Take him up high, take him down low. Under the elbow, push it up. Okay, So just drive from here, low, push it up. Turn the hand, rotate. At this point here, that's enough for the damage. Pretty simple. I want you to be careful that you don't hyperextend somebody's elbow by accident here, okay? So be careful. So yeah, obviously, I'm an Aikidoka. Um, I approach every situation differently. I mean, it's going to be completely different if I've got, um, so you, uh, sorry for flipping that. Regan. Regan, so come here. So if I got if I got Regan here, he grabs my chest. Right, snap. Right. If I've got <laughs> if I've got um I don't know, say he's taller than you guys. No, get on it. <laughs> so you know, if I got Michael doing it, right, you know, I can I probably could reach him actually. But I got to, you know, and he's a strong guy, I've got to take a different approach. But I was going to do it on this guy, but you can see that just the size <laughs> makes it different. Number one. So, everybody, on top of that, everybody's got a different feel. So, he's a bit of a grappler, a bit of a striker, I can feel that straight away. But, I don't really think about it too much, I just do, what, what do I feel I've got? I feel I've got this. Okay, number one. He grabbed me again. I don't know what he's going to do, but you know, but it would just be so easy. Bang! Something like this. E. You know, it could be, you know, it just gets complicated as you like here. You know, you can go on forever. Stephen Jakes, Jefferson Karate, slightly different than the Goju and Shotokan. Um, we uh, said by Michael was going out and pulling back on his techniques, we're going to come in. Okay, 
So the first technique I want to use is as soon as this hand and this hand come together, I'm watching that because it's all get hit by it. So just put the force on it, block that down or break the grip. Show to the face, on the chin, nose, whatever you like, or the throat. One of those three. Bang, 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 bang. Right from here, you can do and just force it forward. <laughs> Head to the floor. Alright, and your wheels your oyster at this point. And I'll leave that up to you what you want to do to finish them off. Listen. So again, comes in. I'll either break that at the joint there or I can break it here. Right now I move, strike, and step forward with the head going down to the floor. Generally I like to take the head right to the floor and push this head away so you can't see what's coming next. Right, second technique, similar type thing, break the grip again, going to come through to grab the head. For this one, I'm going to do other side the garden. So I'm going to reach through here, take the leg out, and pull up with the arm here. Yeah. Right. And put some pressure on the knee. Stop him spinning and doing whatever he wants to do. Right, and then you can do whatever you like. Crack, crack, crack. Okay, so we'll do that one again. Two techniques. So. In, lock, reach over the head. This can be a strike. Okay, so I sort of go, take the knee out, put some pressure on, hold them down. You don't want to play anymore, see you later. I'm out the door.